make sure to check out my Patreon for exclusive videos never before seen on YouTube. And don't forget to also check out the memberships on my channel page to join and gain access to perks and see videos early. Make sure to click the subscribe button and hit the bell and be notified of new videos. All the support goes to the production of the channel for better content. Now let's get into the video. What if Goku was a Legendary Super Saiyan Part 5? Now, right after the feat of the Monster Cell, there would be 7 years apiece just like the original, but this time, Goku is actually alive. So, sadly, Goku would not be dead, so there's no Super Saiyan 3, even though he couldn't learn it, and he wouldn't be able to meet the likes of PyCon and some of the other people. Now, would Goku actually learn the Fusion Dance? Well, we do know that, and for what if purposes, King Kai can travel back and forth and bring Goku up. Which it would make sense, assuming that if Kami can do it, why can't King Kai do it? Which doesn't make no sense. Well, Goku doesn't know instant transmission, so Goku periodically would go train at King Kai's planet. But Goku does have the ability from King Emma that he can go to the other world and maybe go around and see some of the fighters, so he might meet Pycon up there. But, I do feel like just for what it purposes, Goku can actually learn the fusion technique as he met one of the Metamorphians who can do the fusion ability. Now, seven years would pass, Goten would still be born the same age, being seven to eight years old, Trunks would still be seven to eight years old in this what if, all that is the exact same. Gohan here is not a weakling. Gohan has not slacked off his training, he's actually been training more. Gohan does find passion because he knows that one day, his father's not going to be here, and he knows that just from the likes of Cell, by the way, Gohan failed. Even with this new power, he failed. And he wants to be strong enough to protect his family and his loved ones when his father won't be able to be here. Goku talking to him for over seven years, I think he'll be able to put that in his head. That, hey, we're not going to be around here forever. I want to make sure that if I'm gone or Vegeta's gone, you, you and the boys can take care of each other and this planet when we're not here. So Gohan, of course, still doing his studying, that's his main priority, he does still keep his training up. He trains with his father a lot. And he also trains with Goten a lot. Now, here's another thing. Goten does have a higher potential than the original, as he is in the same bloodline of Goku. Gohan had a higher potential, and Goten will have the same. Now, Goten here actually learned Super Saiyan a little bit earlier, just because of the fact that he's training with Goku. And Goten surprisingly learns it the same way, just because he has very high S cells, very similar to how Gohan did. Now, Goten here is a lot more powerful than his original self, and Gohan here is a lot more powerful than his original self. We'll get into, I would say, not official power levels, because that's irrelevant now at this point with numbers, but in terms of like power scaling it to other people, we can kind of go off of. Now, the tournament would still happen, all the Z Fighters would go, and of course Vegeta does want to have a rematch with Goku. Now, do I still feel like Vegeta would have that malice and hatred towards Goku? I don't think so. Because Goku's alive, Vegeta can fight him whenever he wants, and they have sparred a few times. But Vegeta still has that rival within him, and he does want to beat Kakarot, obviously. But Vegeta actually has respect for Kakarot, knowing that he is the best. I mean, Vegeta had to swallow the fact that he's a legendary Super Saiyan. Even though he wishes it was him more than anybody else, but that's just how it is. And he has a family, he settled down. Of course, he's still the grumpy Vegeta, he's no different. But he's not evil in his heart, and he's not as, I, I would say, malice towards everybody as he was in the Buu Saga, which will very much affect the outcome of later on. Bobbity's still around, Buu still needs energy, so the Supreme Kai and Kabito Kai will still appear. Now, where some things will change here is, of course, the little fights. Now, Goten and Trunks. Well, Goten and Trunks are still best friends, but now during their match, surprisingly, Goten would win, I wouldn't say easily, but he would kind of beat down on Trunks a little bit. Trunks wouldn't really have a chance against his version of Goten. Even in base form, Goten is stronger than him, and using Super Saiyan, he's a lot stronger than him. So Trunks would actually lose the match, but of course, they're buddies, and Trunks, this gives Trunks motivation to get stronger and to catch up to him. Now, as for going on to Videl. I know I glossed over the fact of Gohan's Orange Star High School, but all that pretty much happens the exact same. Nothing really changes there. Gohan's the exact same. He's still the Golden Warrior. He would still do the great Saiyan Man stuff. All that happens the same. So, so don't get that twisted. He's still the OG, the best great Saiyan Man. He's just a more powerful version of him. So yeah, him and Videl are kind of dating. They're kind of in love. You know how it goes. Now, Videl here is pretty much the same power level as before, so Swopovich would still beat her nearly to death, which would make Gohan furious. He would go fight and pretty much 
go meet up with Kibito. And meeting up with Kibito, Kai, Gohan would then showcase his full power, and he would go Super Saiyan 2 like the original. But this time, Gohan is far stronger than his original self here. I mean, league stronger. As we know, Super Saiyan 2 Gohan in the Cell Saga in this What If was actually a little bit stronger than his previous for in the original. But now, cutting into this version of Gohan, he is far stronger than that. This version of Gohan in Super Saiyan 2 is around the power level of Fat Boo comfortably. I do think that, and considering his potential and the fact that he's been training lightly for a couple of years, it's very plausible. As you guys know, of Gohan's potential is absolutely insanity. That yeah, Gohan is at the power level of Fat Boo, and that's being nerfing him a little bit. He could potentially be even higher, but we'll talk about that later. Now, Kabito was absolutely stunned that Gohan had this power. Goku was smiling, he wasn't surprised. Vegeta was a little bit surprised too. He's never seen Gohan go full power since the Cell arc, but he wasn't shocked either. Now, Spopovich and Yamu, they would still take his energy. Supreme Kai would have to kind of hold him back with his power, which he would barely be able to do. And still, they would take the energy and fly off. Of course, Supreme Kai would then explain who Majin Buu is, and Babidi, and everybody else, and the fact that he's a universal threat. We need to take care of him now. So, after Gohan recovers with the help of a Sensu Bean for plot, he would, he would, of course, help out Vigel and give her another Sensu Bean for plot. And Gohan would then fly off with Goku, with Goku, Vegeta, Supreme Kai, Gohan, and also Kabuto Kai. Now, of course, some of the other Z fighters would then follow along, such as Piccolo, Krillin. Of course, they would want to see what's going on. Now, how powerful is Piccolo? I know some people are probably asking. Well, Piccolo hasn't been slacking off on his training either. Piccolo is actually very, very strong. You'll see very shortly. We'll talk more about Piccolo's power in a minute. Now, flying down, they would, of course, see Bobby's ship. They would go inside, but something will change very quickly here. Majin Buu's already been born. Because Gohan's energy is literally as powerful as Majin Buu, they have plenty of energy, so Majin Buu was able to be resurrected and brought back. But of course, it is the Fat Buu, who was very playful and childish. Supreme Kai was hoping, well, as you guys know, Bobbity was hoping for Kid Buu, the pure one, but of course that's not happening. So, of course, Goku and Vegeta would then look at each other, and they're like, hmm, well, who should actually fight Majin Buu? Well, actually... Gohan would actually say, let me go up and let me try fighting him. Now, Vegeta and Goku would allow this because they want their their children to start fighting for themselves. So in case they're not around, they can take care of the planet and protect their loved ones. This is, I feel like the same mindset would be the exact same for Goku and Vegeta. It's the same exact thing. Goku wanted his boys to be strong enough and defend for themselves, to have some fun with it. And it's the same thing with Vegeta, but he's obviously not going to say it. It's the same concept. So Gohan would then begin his battle with Fat Boo. Now Gohan, using his full power Super Saiyan 2, is actually a little bit stronger than Fat Boo, but we'll get onto that in a second. Bobbity was actually really nervous, so he would send out Deborah to go handle the uh, the other people, so in case they don't gang up on Boo. Now of course Piccolo would actually stop him here. Now Piccolo would smirk and remove his weighted clothing, as Piccolo would then showcase something that he has been working on a lot. Piccolo would then go into a full power state of his Namekian form, buffing up a little bit, and this version of Piccolo would actually change color a little bit. This is not the official potential unleashed form from superheroes, by the way. Don't 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 get that one twisted. That's just, that's a potential unleashed form that he got from the Dragon Balls. That's that's different. This version of Piccolo, his color does change a little bit. He's a bit more of like a, a lighter screen, but he just some things change a little bit. And he has more veins on his head. He's basically using a basically Super Namekian is what we are going to call it. Super Namekian form. And Piccolo at this power level is actually really strong. Now Piccolo would begin his fight with Deborah, and the two would actually be kinda even, but Piccolo would start getting the upper hand on him as Piccolo had more skills and abilities. Now Deborah would try his spit technique, but Piccolo would then notice it and dodge it as he noticed that the area where the spit hit turns to stone. Now Piccolo needs to take note of that. Now Deborah would try using a sword, and Piccolo with his healing abilities, it would slice off one of his arms, but Piccolo would be able to heal it. Now the two would actually have a very intense battle going back and forth, and soon over time, I feel like Pic Piccolo and Deborah would be kind of even, but Piccolo using a special beam cannon, as you guys remember, Piccolo can hold Deborah down, and he would then shoot a special beam cannon going right through him. But before 
Devora dies, he spits on Piccolo's arm, which is around his body, and the stone started going up his arm. But now Piccolo would very quickly actually rip his own arm off before the stone completely covers him, and he throws it on the ground as the arm was just a stone arm on the floor, and he would regenerate once more. Now Piccolo at this point is completely gassed, so he's completely tired and, and drained from the battle. But Goku would actually smirk and say, you did an awesome job, Piccolo. That guy was actually really strong. And Piccolo is happy that his training has gotten him so far, so Piccolo gets a W in this what if. Now, of course, Gohan fighting Majin Buu is kind of crazy. Now, Majin Buu is actually fighting Gohan pretty evenly, but the difference here is that Majin Buu, sadly, has the healing ability. Well, what's Gohan really going to be able to do against this version, as then Buu will then showcase one of his most dangerous techniques. Boo would then tell Gohan to basically go full power, say, Boo want to fight you, go full power, meaning. Now, Boo already knows what he's going to do. I think you all know. Now, Gohan doesn't have a choice. Vegeta would even tell him, saying, hey, you're losing power quickly. Go to your full power and finish this up. Gohan would then smirk as he would then charge up his aura to the maximum output that he can, and his hair would grow longer. And yes, Gohan has turned into a Super Saiyan 3. Before I get attacked in the comments, Major Dragon, that's impossible. Gohan can't do that. Oh, he didn't train in the other world. Oh, it's not going to happen. It's a what if. Enjoy it. And it's really cool. Who does not like a Super Saiyan 3 Gohan? That'd be awesome. And also with his potential, anything's possible for Gohan here, being pushed by his own father. Now, Gohan, this form is brand new to him, so Gohan cannot use this form for long, so he would absolutely demolish Boo, slapping him around, blowing him in pieces, leaving some pieces hanging around. Now, Boo here would actually absorb Gohan, surprising him. They never knew that Boo had this ability before. As Gohan would then get absorbed, they were shocked as he was absorbed by that Boo, and Boo would then begin to change. Boo would pretty much look very similar to Buhan, Maybe not as skinny, but he would pretty much just look I I identical to Buhan, and he would be a lot more intelligent, plus he has Super Saiyan 3 Gohan inside of him. He's very powerful. Now, this is when Goku actually does want to cut in and actually do something about it. Now, by the way, Bobbidi's other subordinates, such as Yatkan, Pui Pui, they would actually try to attack Vegeta as well, but you all know how that's going to go. Vegeta, at this point, does know Super Saiyan 2. And he is actually curious about Super Saiyan 3. He does want to learn that power, but that's for later on. Now, Goku would actually begin his battle with Buhan. But now, Goku here would then showcase what all of his training for 7 years has been done. Goku would then charge up his energy, charging it up completely, and his hair would turn yellow and then green. This form is a kind of the halfway point between a full power legendary Super Saiyan and the normal Super Saiyan. Goku has been able to use the abilities of a legendary Super Saiyan, but with the control of a normal Super Saiyan here. As if he goes too far, he'll then become a beast and get really bulky and massive, but that's his most powerful state, as then his power level will continue to rise at an astronomical rate and he's more powerful, more durable, but his mind is completely gone. But in this state, he can control the power, so it's a perfect middle ground. It's a perfect middle ground form that Goku has trained beyond intensively for seven years straight. With the potential, it's very much plausible. Now, how powerful is this version of Goku here? Well, I would comfortably say, and this is not light Goku, this version of Goku is easily as powerful as a Super Saiyan God Goku. Why? Because he's been training for seven years. That is lowballing Goku, as a matter of fact, with Broly's immense potential. Now, Goku in this state is as strong as Super Saiyan God Goku. You guys already know what's going to happen here. Now, Goku knows that they can wish Gohan back with the Dragon Balls, so everything will be okay. As remember, they don't know about going inside of Boo and then getting Gohan out, so, so that wouldn't really happen. But, just for what if and fun purposes, let's just say that Goku's going to try and go inside of Boo so he can... You know, collect them. As Gohan can sense that Gohan is in there. So, Goku would easily beat around Boo, and then Boo would use the absorption technique once more, but Goku would then form an aura around himself and be absorbed. Everybody was shocked, but then Boo goes into a very comatose like state. As Boo is inside of his mind, as Goku would then travel through Boo's body disgustingly, and he would then find where everybody was hanged up. 
it was Gohan, and it was Fat Boo. But, as you guys know, there is no Fat Boo, because that is Fat Boo. So, realistically, the actual person that is actually hung up is actually Evil Boo. The gray version. I just want to switch it just for fun. Evil Boo is the one that's actually contained in there. But, obviously, Goku sends nuts, nothing but pure evil. He's not going to free that guy. So... He would then start to take down Gohan, but then Buhan would begin fighting him. Goku easily slaps him aside, and he would then rip Gohan from Buu's body, and they would escape. Now, once when they puff back out, Goku would then set the egg down as Gohan was pretty much knocked out cold. Buu would begin changing back into Fat Buu, and he was furious. Goku states that you've done enough, Buu. You're a danger to everybody. I do sense some good in you, but this is just not safe. So Goku would then charge up a full power Kamehameha, and he would completely obliterate Majin Buu. Thus ending Majin Buu. And sadly there is no Super Buu, Kid Buu, or Oob in this what if. Oob has never been reincarnated. And Majin Buu is gone. That means Mr. Satan won't win as many tournaments as he did. He'll probably cheat like he always does. Now that Majin Buu is gone, the entire family would then enjoy time of peace. But Vegeta does want one thing. He does want a rematch with Goku. One day. And Vegeta states that he will get a power beyond that of his form, and that's Super Saiyan 3. He'll find it, and he will. Now, a few years would pass, and there was a certain purple cat that has now awoken as he senses a high power level nearby, and he has the dream about a true Super Saiyan God and a rival that will be his true amazing fight. That is it for this one, if you guys. Thank y'all for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be ready for the next part. Now, if we can get to 20,000 subscribers, I really appreciate it. Thank y'all so much. I will talk to you all later.